Here in Yangon, lines of communication appear to be opening up as mobile phone usage increases. But the promises of an open society that helped put the National League for Democracy in power have become a distant dream for many who dare to speak out. Poet Meng Song Jia, who was jailed under the controversial Section 66D Act, leads Athen, an activist group monitoring peaceful critics and journalists who have been prosecuted using repressive laws. We can see that freedom of speech in Myanmar is getting worse now. The most obvious sign is that there are more reporters detained and imprisoned under this government. Supporters of Aung San Suu Kyi say that constitutional amendments will be needed to ensure better protection for citizens. Former political prisoner Yu Shell, who spent 14 years behind bars following the 1988 student uprising, says the process could take some more time. Currently, the Home Ministry is the main element which has full power to control every aspect of the country. Home Ministry is the driving force to govern and is controlled by the military. While international development expands, rights groups like Human Rights Watch say foreign businesses should be wary. If you're a business considering investing in a country where you could go to jail for raising issues about corruption or questions about mismanagement in the local government where your investment is, you should really be thinking twice about whether or not that's a country where you should be putting your money because that's a risky investment and businesses should be looking at that if they aren't already doing so. As Myanmar's 2020 election draws closer, observers are questioning whether it can be free and fair without allowing full freedom of speech and expression. Steve Sanford for VOA News, Yangon, Myanmar.